guys, what's going on? Junior with SOT Metalworks coming at you. We've got a little different one for you here tonight. This is the Benham Farm sign. Uh, this one has been a little struggle for us. I'm not going to lie. We have incorporated several, several clip art pictures uh, in amongst this one. Uh, of course, you got your deer there on the right hand side, your tractor, uh, your family. You've got the, the little girl, the little boy, the mom and dad there, uh, the fence, the barn in there. Uh, and if you kind of notice there on the right-hand side that kind of makes the sign, there's a tree there in amongst everything. Uh, and you'll kind of get a little better gist of this when we uh, get this on the table and get everything cut out. But, but yeah, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. There's seven clip art picks that we pulled off the computer and put in this sign. And it's a very detailed sign, or, or at least we think it is at this point. Uh, but it, but it, the outcome of this sign is fantastic. This sign looks, I mean, just, it, it looks great. The customer was so happy. Uh, they couldn't say enough great things about this sign when they got it. So we're gonna walk you guys through the process, get you set up on the table over here. Let you see how we do this, and uh, we'll, we'll do the best we can showing you guys how we get this cut out. Right, guys just wanted to stop uh in the middle of the sign to let you guys kind of know what's going on you seen where i stopped uh the sign when we got everything cut out so we stopped the torch right there before it started on the next piece what i did that for is to let this metal rest uh if you can look back in the video when we were cutting you can see how this metal started bowing up a little bit and it started raising up off the table that's all due to heat, it makes that metal warp just a little bit. If you hit pause on your machine, give that metal a little time to get that heat out of it, it'll all go back down nice and smooth. And you can see everything is laid right back down where it needs to be at. So that way it doesn't distort your letters, uh, it doesn't make parts and pieces look a little different than they should or what have you. It gets that little bow in it and you know it could distort a, a figure, an image or what have you. So. It's a real important part to remember when you're running these tables and stuff. Give that metal time to rest, relax, cool back down, whatever it needs to be. Uh, on a waterbed table, it's not as uh, bad, but on a table like this, it makes a big, big difference. So, all right, back to the cutting, guys. Just wanted to uh, fill you in on that little part right there.
right, so I believe I missed some of that, but as you can see, everything turned out pretty good. Not uh, not too shabby. We're gonna get it over here on the rack uh, and see what everything turned out like. All right, so here's what we ended up with. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, tip's about wore out. It's about time to uh, change some consumables. Been cutting a bunch of signs. You can see quite a bit of slag and stuff left in there, but yeah, the Benham Farm. So a uh, special order from a friend of ours uh, for her family. I uh, can't thank her enough for this order. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up, get some primer on it, get some paint on it. Uh, we're just going with standard flat black on this one. It has a tendency to uh, to kind of work out the best for these farm signs and stuff like that. It's a color everybody can uh, touch up later on down the road. Something like that happens or, or whatever. It's kind of kind of one of those deals. But yeah, got the deers, the tractor, got the family in there, barn, the fence. Not a little tree over here on this side. Kind of made the border with it. So yeah, just uh, kind of piecemealed everything together there. I believe it turned out fairly well. So we'll get it all cleaned up, get paint primer on it and stuff, and give you guys a look and see how a finished product turned out. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished product with the uh, the Benham Farm sign. Just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview. I don't have it in the photo booth. Uh, we've got that uh, dark colored wood uh, up there in the photo booth. I tried putting it in there, it just didn't, uh, this does it just as much justice uh, here as the photo booth did but but we'll see i may go up there and shoot a video up there i uh, need to get some pictures anyway so but it's kind of an overview of everything we've got in there it uh, turned out pretty good i'm not uh, not too shabby we integrated all these pieces from uh, from some clip art added them into the side uh the barn was a separate picture the fence a separate picture of course the family there was a separate picture the tractor uh, the deer, the tree that goes up the side there, and then we put all of our uh, lettering and everything in. We've got uh, mounting hose up on top uh, in case they want to mount it up there. Also, we've got uh, two larger hose down here in the bottom. That is, they're going to come back. They're not exactly sure when the farm was established. They're going to come back later by an established in, uh, you know, say 1982 or whatever it may be and uh, hang that right underneath this sign so we got them hooked up with that so yeah believe everything turned out great couldn't uh, couldn't ask for much better of course it's in the flat black not too shabby all right guys so we've got the benham farm sign in here in the photo booth think it turned out fantastic so yeah that's what we got for you this evening guys uh if you're looking for anything like this look us up on facebook uh shooters option targets slash sot metalworks or you can check us out on instagram sot metalworks or shoot us an email shooters option targets at gmail.com and we'll get you hooked up with something similar to this or one just like it or whatever you guys need so yeah if you haven't already reach down and hit that subscribe button for us hit the like button leave us a comment let you know let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. So this has been Junior with SLT Metalworks, guys. We're going to get out of here. We greatly appreciate you guys watching and gals. And uh, we're going to call it an evening. So remember, guys, stay safe out there. And as, as always, work smarter, not harder, guys.